The Environmental Remediation Science Program of Department of Energy has recently funded the Earth Science Division of Lawrence Berkeley Lab to develop a sustainable systems scientific focus area. And really what this is all about is trying to develop insights and tools that are needed to understand coupled physical, geochemical, micro microbiological properties and processes that are important for sustained environmental remediation. We're also using our facilities at Lawrence Berkeley Lab. For example, we're using the advanced light source, particularly the microtomography beamline, to understand how um, both physical and geochemical properties change as we introduce remedial treatments into that. And so, of course, once we use the beamline to understand what's happening at the scale where it is happening, we then have to understand what is the manifestation of that at the larger field scale where we're doing the remediation. Another facility that we're using at Lawrence Berkeley Lab is NERSC and our in-house clusters. And this is because for all of our research, we perform it within the context of a reactive transport model. The reactive transport model enables us to simulate, given our current understanding of the subsurface properties and processes and their interactions, and to think about, is this particular remediation sustainable? Within our sustainable systems scientific focus area, we actually have three different challenges. These challenges span from the molecular all the way up to the plume scale, which is on the order of square kilometers. So a large spatial scale as well as temporal scale. And this is important because environmental remediation is dealing with our complex subsurface, which varies naturally over various time and space scales. While our sustainable systems focus area is really centered on environmental remediation, um, in the long run, really what we're looking at is insights and developing tools that are important for understanding our subsurface as we manipulate that. And that's really perfectly transferable to many other applications where we're manipulating the subsurface, such as carbon sequestration and microbial enhanced hydrocarbon recovery.